think I want to go take a quick look at one of the factories here. Because we found a way that we can disable the radio towers. There is also a way that we can disable the factories too. So let me just grab my other lot out. There we go, now we can be all inconspicuous. Fast travel as far as we can go. Now there's two ways we can do this bit. Either we can take out the building, if it's got one of the big yellow ones. Or, we can just kill the civilians there, who work at the place. And that'll basically just disable the factory. So if we can cut off their influence, that's good, it means we hold towns. If we can cut off their supplies, that's even better. It means they can't deploy heavy vehicles or anything. Which they're beginning to get access to. As we saw with that APC previously. It's just a matter of time till they get ones with big guns on top. Alright, let's see if they'll let us drive in. In fact, I'm not going to be able to do that because there's no road, so let's hop out here. In fact, let's see if I can fit this rifle in my bag. Yep. Alright, we've got a full loadout in our bag. Guys thundering past. The soldiers aren't bothered. I'm sure everyone knows which says I'm talking about as well, the ones in the grey jackets. They don't seem to have any around here. Not that I've been able to spot yet, at least. You do get a small team of them, just like in the grey work jumpsuits. Because I've seen them in places like this before. Hmm, looks like we might just have to destroy the factories. Okay, well, it would be a shame to leave empty-handed, wouldn't it? Look, I'm immediately pulling his launcher out. Yeah, a couple of them tried that. Um, I don't think that was worth it, to be honest, but we got some ammo. Yeah, that really wasn't worth it, was it? Unless I can sell this thing, maybe. Can't really complain at this thing tanking a disposable launcher, either. I mean, sure, it hit in the back and there's nothing vital there, apart from, you know, the rear axle, but... Yeah, it's still quite well, doesn't it? And we just got our taxes income there and we're still not generating any manpower. Which is something we really need to get a handle on. We need one of the bigger towns to be able to get any of that. So we might just want to take a couple more missions so that we can control the town down here. And then it might be time to move the base for the first time. In fact, it might be a good idea to do that now, actually. Alright, let's empty this thing into the box. And see if we can sell it on. Not suitable in our marketplace. And we can't garage anything else. Let's see what we've got in a garage right now. Uh, yeah, we've got quite the selection of vehicles already. I'm pretty sure we can sell these. There we go. So we should have room for this one now. There we go. Hmm, and thinking about it, it's probably best to take one more mission. Just while we're in range of the town. And then move further out. Let's see if we can get a decent mission. Uh, nope. Petros is broken again. I suppose if he's broken now, we may as well just move house already then. 
Let's go down to the uh, the factory here. Oh, I didn't gauge up the anti-aircraft gun. Oh well, we're not going to be able to make any use of it in the factory anyway, and we can always buy another. Alright, we are just about here. Let's get him set up towards the back. Just over this way. See if we can get him inside this building again. Let's turn this damn engine off. There we go. And build HQ here. Let's move this box, hopefully without killing myself. So I'll stick that out the front, because that's where we're going to be bringing our vehicles in. We seem to be missing an arsenal box. Hang on, where's my pistol? I'm guessing it's gone inside the building. No, it doesn't seem to be there. Oh no, there it is. Wait, can I get in there? Oh, I can. Okay. It'd be nice to have like a little uh, armory room like that. But unfortunately, I can't load vehicle inventories into it just like that. It needs to drop it out the front so I can scroll on top of it. So yeah, let's get the flag out of here. And I may as well bring the map out the front too. Just so I don't forget where it is or something. In fact, no, let's put it in here. I'm managing not to fly to space. It's an achievement for that map. And the purpose of this is we have like, a, I think it's a four kilometer range around the base. Like we've got a catchment area for where missions are spawned. So when we were up here, we'd basically only be able to reach up to Oreo Castro and then back down over this way. None of the towns over here would be within that catchment area. So we should be able to get like Kor and Sirta, maybe Abdera as well. Alright, so today I have two things I want to test out. The first is a feature that in my near 1000 hours of this game, never knew existed. And the second is a new mod I'm going to be using. So, in the arsenal, I'm going to pop some random attachments onto this weapon. There we go. So it's kind of kitted out now. I'm going to drop in the car. And if I double click this... Ah, no. It seems like that must be a mod thing. Supposedly I would have got like a, uh, an option. Oh, oh there we go. So it can't be inside a container, it has to be on the floor it seems. Ah, I think I know what's going on here. So I never knew this feature existed and it's probably because of this why. But, you can get the weapon to count, you see like how you have ground. And then whenever you access something with an inventory, you have a container. So it's crit, if there can also be like uniform vest, bag or whatever. So you can turn the weapon into the inventory, if there isn't one already there. And pull the attachment straight off of it. I mean, that's quite handy. Alright, now the next one, as I mentioned, is a new mod. So, let's reload there. And again. And again. So that should be my last full magazine. Yeah, I've got nothing but half mags now. So if I press Ctrl and R, mag repack 3.1.3. So options, 
Well, my key bindings for this. Okay, that's just to open the menu. So the source is the ammo in that magazine. I can use that magazine to top up this one. So it trends from that one, it puts it into this one. So now I can just put that magazine in there. And basically just use full magazines or almost empty ones to top off ones that need topping off. And it works with modded ammunition as well, which is fantastic. So if I reload here, then I can use this almost empty mag to top this one back off. Yeah, so I overall have one fewer magazines, but I don't have any magazines that are almost out of ammo. Alright, nice. Anyway, we need to start doing something about this USAF aggression. So let's take a logistics mission. An ammo vehicle there, okay. You know what, I'll actually fight them for this one this time. I usually just cheese them, but let's do one properly. Okay, it doesn't look like we have too many people guarding this. But we do also have the outpost here to worry about, don't we? So let's see how this goes. And of course I can reload. Don't have to worry about that half mech. Yeah, they're dragging a wounded guy. Okay, I think that's all the guards dealt with. Nobody up there is actually coming to investigate yet. Alright. Let's top this magazine off. I think I did this the wrong way around, didn't I? Oh, that's good. If you put a magazine in, it stops it from, you know, being able to select every magazine. It changes to compatible mags. Oh, that's fantastic. This is actually a really good mod. I'd argue this is better than is. Like, this is repacking. And that's one of the few features I'm willing to use in S. Damn, I was about to start reviving some of them as well. we got in here. There's some attachments for Russian weapons in here, which is interesting. Ah, scope. Perfect. There's somebody in the forest. That's concerning. Get a frag up the hill. Hopefully it rolls down and hits that machine gunner. That could have gone a lot worse. Well, let's try and get a couple quick revives off. He's on his way up. They're dropping smoke. Can I release you please? There we go. Okay. Let's get out of here. We don't want to be around when the QRF turns up. Let's see if we can spot wherever this uh, forest gunfire was coming from. If not, then we'll just be able to fast travel out of here. Assuming the vehicle stays upright, of course. That's cute. 
Yeah, right here. That team right there is going to be in the middle of a minefield. And as somebody apparently researched in the comments from last time, that's actually one of the best places to get NVGs because it only spawns the troops which carry NVGs. Like it's luck of the draw if the tan soldiers have them. But the, uh, the spec ops ones that go in the forests and stuff generally always have them. Which is where I found the majority of the ones I currently have. Alright then, let's get this thing emptied into the box. There we go. And sell it off. For a quick 100. Pairs for half of the off-road that we spent getting up there. Now then, I think we're long overdue a bit of a recon of one of the air bases. Of course, the main thing we're going to end up doing there is uh, stealing a vehicle, if one's available. Can just fast travel up to that point there. Oh, and I'm sure somebody's probably going to ask as well if they can ever link to that repack mod. All of the mods I ever use get linked in the description including missions I'm playing. So if I play a game and it's like third party or community content, I always link it. So if you're ever curious about that kind of thing, just check the description. Okay, Serta has a bit of an issue. Because to get into the town from our angle, we have to drive straight past this military base. Which is of course always a risk of us being recognized. Thankfully it's not too bad with wall level 2, but as we've seen, towns do contribute to wall level, so it might stop being an issue at some point soon. I think maybe once we're ready to take an outpost, the best one to start with would be Serta. Simply because the town's right next to it, which means we can grab the town at the same time. And then we can turn Serta into like a sort of headquarters. Like, properly build it up. It is quite central in this area too, so... We'd be able to get quite a lot of use out of it. The only risk we'd carry there is if it was hit with a USAF attack, and our actual headquarters was there, then we'd risk losing a ton of supplies and resources and stuff. But we'll see how we feel when we get there. Alright, they usually get angsty about me driving this close already, so... I think we're okay at the moment, and we just got a ton of stuff unlocked. So I think that was a disposable launcher and a pistol. And we've been reported in the last 30 minutes. So this immediately becomes very difficult. Let's see if I can actually get away before they start shooting at me. Nope. Alright then. 